name is Daryl, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a fan-based website. If you're a musician, if you're a DJ, if you're a cook, if you like to do uh, anything you like to do, this is an ideal website for you. So as you can see, this is a country band. Uh, it's also known as Jordan Floor Line, and I kind of, you know, did the theme after them. And right here is our blog post. You can see we have our upcoming tours back in Hollywood. Howdy, y'all. Let's go ahead and click on that. And it brings up to this page. So this is your blog post. It looks very clean. And whatever you want to talk about, you're going to go ahead and put it right here. And you can also embed a YouTube video, embed a Google Maps video, whatever you would like. And I think it looks very clean and it looks good. So next we're going to go back. And we're going to keep scrolling down. Right here is actually your home page. And I'll discuss this a little more when I get into the video. And right here you can embed a video. That's what I did. And you can say, hey, buy it now. If you have a, a buy it now on iTunes, if, you have a, uh, if you're subscribed to iTunes and you have a song, you can go ahead and put it here. Maybe they'll watch your video and decide to buy it. Uh, if you're a chef or something, you want to give like instructional directions, you can do the same thing. And let's go ahead and keep scrolling down. And this is our widget section. So basically, you know, if they have a, a Facebook box, you have a Google Maps box, you have subscribe. And if they want to check the calendar for maybe a date coming up, saying, oh, hey, I can make it to that or I can't make it to that. Uh, that's something that you'd want to put in there. Let's keep scrolling down. And now we have our portfolio section. So this is our portfolio section. If you want to, you know, add pictures for your concerts, whatever you've done. So let's go ahead and click on one. And right here, we can see the title right here. This is just dummy text and you can embed a picture. It looks very beautiful. And you can go ahead and leave a comment right here and post the comment. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see more projects, which are your other related projects, which is what you actually uh, posted before. So I do want to say there are some shortcomings about this. Um, oops. There are some shortcomings about this theme. And one of them is the titles. So right here, it doesn't give you a title on your, on your blog post right here. It doesn't give you a title. However, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Only on the home page it does. And right here on the bottom right here, if you scroll down, I actually added something in the back. So basically, another way to do it would be to embed the picture and then just add a text and maybe paint something very basic and then just put that in the background so the title comes up. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's go on over to HostGator. We're going to go to HostGator.com and we're going to go ahead and sign up for a service right here. So go ahead and click on Get Started Now. Now we have three three plans. We have the hatchling plan, the baby plan, and the business plan. Uh, in my other videos you've seen me, <clears throat> I always recommend the baby plan because with the baby plan you can get unlimited domains rather than just one domain. So for this I'm going to go ahead and click on get sign up now. Okay, so we're at this post right now, or this page right here. You're going to go ahead and put in your domain. So if you're a band or if you already have a domain, you can just go ahead and put you already have a domain. You can transfer it from another website. However, for people who are brand new, we're going to register a domain. And let's see. In my last video, I did I Love Kylo Ren. I'm going to see if that's taken or not. Maybe someone took it. It's still there. <laughs> it's still there. So someone could still grab I Love Kylo Ren. Uh, okay. We're going to go ahead and scroll down. And now this domain privacy protection, uh, you want to uncheck that box. You don't really need that box. Okay, let's keep going down. And now we have, we're on our baby plan, which is already checked. And I recommend one month to month. However, if you want to have this website for a year, if you want to have it for two years, uh, really it's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and do one month. Go ahead and enter your username. So I'm going to enter uh, Daryl99999 and a security pin, something like that. Right here, you're gonna enter in your email and you're gonna put it in again. And you're gonna put your first, last name, etc. If you wanna pay with credit card, you're gonna go ahead and put your name right here in your credit card. And they also have the option for PayPal. So if you wanna put PayPal, you can do that too. Uh, Whatever is easy for you or convenient for you. So it's gonna keep scrolling down. And we're at this additional services page. I don't recommend any of these. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck these boxes right here. If you want to have these, you want to learn about SEO gears, you're more than welcome to do it. I mean, it's only $15 a year. 
However, if you don't want to, then just uncheck them. Let's go ahead and keep scrolling down. So now we're at the price of, we get our, um, our amount due, and I have a better coupon code than this one right here. So here we're going to go ahead and put quick Feb 30. Uh, I know it's February for me right now, but it doesn't matter. It's good all year. It's good for two years. It's good until like, I quit. And this actually gives me maybe like credit or something. If you guys decide to use it, I'd probably get like 50 cents or something. <laughs> it's really, really small. However, we do save more, as you can see. We do save $1.50 more than the original code they offer us. So once you're done, you're going to click on I have read. And you're going to go ahead and click on checkout. And that's it. And once you're done with that, you're going to be brought to their portal. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my portal. So you're going to go ahead and click on sign up now. And I'm going to go ahead and go here. And you'll be brought to this page right here. It'll say, congratulations, welcome to the HostGator family. And you'll be brought to this page. However, we're going to go to our email instead. In your email, you're going to get a letter from HostGator saying, congratulations, welcome to the HostGator family. And you're going to get this right here. You're going to get a username, your domain, which you registered for, and you're going to get a password. So this is not your host gator. This is for your control panel. You're going to have actually three passwords and usernames. However, this is the second one. So stay with me. We're, we're doing good. We're making progress. You've actually registered the domain right now. It's really good so far. So let's go ahead and click on this right here, your control panel, and you'll be brought to this page right here. So as you can see, we have our username and our password. So over here, you're going to enter in your username and you're going to put your password in right here. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and click on login. All right, great. So now this is our control panel. This is where all the magic happens. And if you need edits for your websites and all that other good stuff, um, this is where to do it. However, before we begin, let's go ahead and see what we've done so far. We registered our domain. Finished. And we have hosting. Finished. So now we need to go ahead and install WordPress so we can create our website. So to do that, we're going to scroll down. Key scrolling, key scrolling. And we're going to go to software and services. And you see where it says right here, quick install? We're going to go ahead and click on quick install. <clears throat> now go ahead and scroll down right here. And it's going to say install WordPress. So go ahead and click on that. Now we're going to install WordPress for free right here. So go ahead and click on install WordPress. And now you're going to go ahead and find your domain. Click right here. And you're going to find your domain. I have quite a few, as you can tell. Mine for this video is Dota 2 is fun, because I like to play that game Dota 2. I'm, I'm pretty good at it, but I'm not the best. Uh, right here, don't put anything. If you put something there, it's going to install this domain name onto this path, and that's a big no-no. You don't want that. So next, just go ahead and put your email. Blog title, I'm going to put Contraband. For my admin user, I'm going to put Daryl03, my first name, my last name. I'll just put Daryl, like that. Now we're going to go ahead and install WordPress. Right here, go ahead and click on No Thanks. It wants you to buy their themes. We don't need to do that because we're going to make our own. And once you see this part right here, you're going to click on View Credentials. And now this is the login information for your WordPress. So this is basically information to log into WordPress so you can start designing your website. However, right now we're going to have to wait because WordPress actually takes maybe one or two hours to sort of notify the company, the hosting company, to sort of allow you to start. Because if you click on it, it's not going to go anywhere. Oh, wow. Okay, great. So we're back. And now we've seen we've installed WordPress and you'll be brought to this screen right here. Now, remember, uh, if you click on this and nothing happens, just go ahead and wait maybe one or two hours because it does take time to set up. 
Um, sometimes it's instant. Sometimes it's one hour, two hours, three hours. It really depends on. Uh, it just depends. <laughs> I know, right? It's uh, one of the one of the the, the bad parts about uh, that. But once you get it installed, you're gonna get your username and password. Go over here and type in your username, the one that you got. I was in all caps. And my password. And I'm gonna click on Remember Me, and log in. This is an app I use called Fast pa LastPass. I want to go ahead and show you the program I use called LastPass. Have you seen a lot of my videos uh, on the top right up here? It's always gonna say, "Should LastPass remember this password?" Guys, this saves you a lot of time and headaches, and it will make your life. 10 times easier because I know you guys have thousands of passwords you have to remember and you can't remember them all. I cannot remember them all. So what I do is I use this program and it auto fills and it saves everything that you put in. So let's go ahead and give you an example. I'm just going to go to this random website right here and I'm going to make a username and I'm going to sign up for something and I'm going to enter in a password. Now I'm just going to go to cook create account. As you can see on the top right there, should last pass, remember this password. If I click save the site and go ahead and click on save right here, now every time I come to this website, LastPass is going to autofill all of my information for me so I never have to remember a password again. If I want to check the password, I can go to my account and check it. Now let's go to HostGator.com. As you can see right here, I'm just going to go ahead and type this in again. HostGator.com and click on Customer Portal. And now you can see that it automatically remembers me. It puts my information. All I have to do is click on login. I don't have to type in anything. I don't have to remember anything. It does it all for me. It's an amazing program, and I recommend everybody use it because I have it. It's really good. Now, if you want to go ahead and see your passwords that you've put in, go ahead and click on LastPass, sign in. You're going to get a master account or a master password, which it does not save because this is your master. It controls everything. So I'm going to go ahead and log in right now. And now you can see all of these passwords you've seen, everything right here, it saves all of these passwords. So if I go to any one of these websites, which I previously previously have gone, it's going to autofill the information, save it for me, so I don't have to remember anything. It's an amazing program, guys. I really recommend this program. I use it. <laughs> that is the only reason why <laughs> I would never offer a program I did not use. And if you've seen all of my videos, you've seen it come up on the top right side. It'll save your life. It'll make your life 10 times easier, and you can start for free. It's not hard. It's very, very, very simple, and I recommend it to anybody. Uh, let's go ahead and go to my Gmail account, which I have several Gmail accounts. And as you can see right here, it's going to log me in. I'm going to go ahead and log out. And all these are my accounts right here. If I click on any one of these, LastPass is auto-filling this information for me. I don't have to enter anything in. It does it automatic. It's so amazing. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. If you guys, want, if you guys are interested in LastPass, I, I highly recommend it. I'm actually putting a description of it in my videos. If you go to the bottom right right here and you want to uh, click on my affiliate link right there, we can do that. And like I said, it's an amazing program. And once you're done, you click on that. It'll bring you to um, it'll bring you to uh, uh, my my affiliate login page. Which, if you click on it right here under my description, bloop, go and click on it. And there you go. You get a free trial. And it's only like 10 bucks a no, $9 a month, guys. And honestly, what do you spend on lunch a day? <laughs> right? Like, what do you spend on lunch a day? Like $30, $20? Like, to have this to save your life, I'm telling you guys, it's an amazing program. I recommend it. Just give it a try. If you don't like it, don't use it. Simple, right? Very easy, okay? So now let's go back to the video really quick. I'm actually going to talk about it in my next video. It's actually really, really amazing. It saved my life. It saves all your passwords. So next, we're brought to this page right here. Let's go ahead and visit our website. So this is it. This is WordPress. This is where all the magic happens. This is where we're going to install our website. And we'll do it in probably 30, 40 minutes. It's very quick, very easy. So before we begin, let's go and check our progress. Installed WordPress. Finished. So now all we have to do is create the website. So first, before we begin, we're going to go to dashboard and we're gonna to go to users right here let's go ahead and check our profile just go to click on users right here we're gonna click on Daryl and let's go ahead and change our password 
So if you scroll down all the way, keep scrolling, you can actually change the colors right here if you'd like, you know, make it pretty or decorative, however you like. I'm going to do, uh, uh, right, let's do this one. We'll keep it like this. I'm going to scroll down. And right here where it says new password, go ahead and click on generate password, backspace, and enter in whatever you want. So I'm going to enter in I I love coffee. Uh one one. So my password now is I love coffee one one. It says it's very weak. Uh, don't worry. Just go ahead and click on confirm use week of password. And once you're done with that, go ahead and click on update profile. Oops, so sorry. This is my, my app I used. Okay, great. So now that we've done that, the first thing we're going to do is install our theme. This is probably the most important part of WordPress. So as you can see right here, there's thousands of themes we can choose by clicking on Add New. And right here, it's going to have Featured, Popular, Latest. Um, there's quite a few. However, I decided to choose a theme that fits our criteria for what we're doing. And I chose to choose the harmonic theme. It's a very high rated theme. It's very well known in the community. It's, um, it's very popular. And we just go ahead and preview it. As you can see, people are rating it pretty highly right here. Uh, it's a very good theme. And it's, like I said, it's good for travel bloggers, trip around the world. In this case, we're gonna use it for music. So once you're done with that, go ahead and click on install. And now we're at this page, let's go ahead and click on Activate. Okay, so right here it says the Jetpack plugin is required. So let's go ahead and install this plugin. So when you get to this page, right here it says Install, go ahead and click on Install. Let's go ahead and wait, and now let's go ahead and activate the plugin. All right, we're done. So let's go ahead and visit the website now. So as you can see, it's still the same. It looks relatively the same. It does change a little bit. However, we need to fix this. We need to change it to make it look beautiful, which we're going to do right now. So now let's go ahead over here where it says country band and click on dashboards. And now we're going to go to pages right here. And where it says sample page, we're going to change this right here. Go ahead and click on sample page. And now we'll just type in home. And right here, we're going to go ahead and delete all this right here. Go ahead and delete all this. This is just an example page. Okay, great. So we've deleted this. Now what we're going to do on the right side right here, where it says templates, we're going to change this to front page. And click on update. Now let's go ahead and view the page. Let's view our website right now. Click on visit site. So as you can see, it's still the same. Now we need to change it to a static page. So now you're gonna click on customize up here. And you're gonna have these options right here. All these options, uh, you don't need to use any of these for right now, where it says static front page. Go ahead and click on that. Click on a static page. Now you see where it says front page and it says select. We're gonna go and click on home. And once we're done with that, we're gonna click on save and publish. Now you can see the website has drastically changed. There's pictures, there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, they're basically giving us an idea on what to do. As you can see, it's just uh, sort of boring. Doesn't really have much to it. And we're going to go ahead and change all of that right now. So go ahead and close this. Go ahead and take a look at it. Looks pretty good. Now up here, click on customize. And we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and just go one by one and make sure that we have nothing missed. And we're gonna go ahead and edit it one by one. So right here, site identity. Go ahead and click on this right here. Boop. And now you see where it says country band? This is gonna be your logo right here, your information right here. So go ahead and click on uh, whatever you'd like. So you're a musician. I'm going to go ahead and put 
Uh, let's go ahead and put the best country band ever. We are rated number one on the charts. Now for a site icon, if you go ahead and click on this right here, uh, go ahead and click on upload files. A site icon is something that shows up on the top left of a page. So right here, I'm just going to use the logo as an example. And go ahead and click on this and press select. And now you can see it wants us to sort of pick uh, um, an area. And as you can see right here on the app icon, this is how it's going to show up on our page on the top left right here as a little icon. So I'm going to go ahead and put it like that and crop image. And once we're done with that, go ahead and click on save and publish. Let's go ahead and click on back. These right here, we're going to ignore all of these. We don't need these right now. Instead, we're going to go to theme options because this theme has a specific way to design itself. Go to click on theme options and portfolio. We're not going to start with portfolio yet. We're actually going to do that last because the portfolio is actually coming on the bottom of the page. So we want to work our way up. So let's go ahead and click on back and click on visibility. Now this section right here is basically saying if you want to delete these sections, if you want to delete the news, you want to delete the page, you want to delete the widgets, it's strictly up to you. So let's give you an example of what that's going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click on all of these. Except for our title section. And now you can see I can't scroll down anymore. That's it. It's just one page. And if I take one off, now I can go ahead and scroll down and now we see this is our news tab. So as you can see, it just deletes the section temporarily. It just hides it. It doesn't delete it. So I'll go ahead and uncheck all these because we're going to use all of them. Next, go ahead and click on back. And right here it says title. Go ahead and click on that. So this is a background. So if you want to add a different background to that, uh, we're going to do that. So right here it says select image. Go ahead and click on this. And we're going to go ahead and upload some files. So if you have a background that you want to add, um, something for your music that you want to add, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and unload all these images right here. I'm going to click on all these and click on open. So right now what WordPress is doing, it's uploading all those images I put onto, um, onto our dashboard. And it's not uploading it in the background, it's just uploading it so if you want to add it to a different part of our website, we can do that. So let's go ahead and give it a second to upload. It's pretty quick, I got a pretty, pretty good connection. Okay, great. So it's done. So let's go ahead and add in our background. I'm going to go ahead and click on this right here. Choose the image. And you want these images actually kind of, kind of big, you know. Um, this right here is 1910 by 1080. That's a good size. Anything smaller, it's not going to look too good. So make sure they're HD quality. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this image. And as you can see, our background has changed. Now the great part about this theme is, let's say you have white text. As you can see, this is kind of hard to read right here. It's a little hard to read. And this theme has something designed for that specifically. If you click on add a background shade, it gives the shade a background of like a darker color. So now your text sounds out a little bit more. So the best country band ever. We are rated number one on the charts. It's clearly visible now. And if you want to hide the tagline, you can do that as well. The, ta the tagline is the one below it. And I don't want to do that. I want to leave it. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this box. Click on Save and Publish. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and click on Back. And now our new section, which is right here. We can go ahead and change the background to this. So under News, go ahead and click on it. And let's go ahead and select a background image for that too. I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. Or actually, I'll use this one. <coughs> okay, great. So now you see our background has been added. And we can actually add a background shade to this as well. We can do it to all of them. And that'll make your text make, it'll make it visible and make it look very good. So right here, go ahead and click on add background shade. 
And where it says footer link text right here, this is the, the text at the bottom right here. So let's say this is our blog. So we want our featured news right here. So this is our blog. We want something that's going to make people want to come there. So let's go ahead and put something interesting. Check out or check our latest news. Check our latest news. And as you can see on the bottom left, this has changed. Once you're done with this, go ahead and click on Save and Publish. And now let's go ahead and before we begin, let's go ahead and add some stuff right here. Let's add some content right here to make it look more, uh, more real. So go ahead and click on this X right here. And as you can see, the website's starting to come along. If we go ahead and click on check our latest news, it brings us right here. It brings us to the page that we, uh, we edited. So right here, under this little plus new, go ahead and click on post. We're going to make our first post. So right here, we can go ahead and add in a post. We can go ahead and say, um, we will be in Hollywood 321. And we can actually add in something right here to make it look good. So we can add in, uh, you know, I'm just going to add in dummy text right here. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this. And we can add in an, an image right here. So you want to add in an image or something like that. So we can do that. Right here, click on Add Media. And we can go ahead and click on one of these uh, images that you want in there. We're going to go to click on this one. Insert into Post. And now one thing that we need to do as well. If we want that beautiful background that we had before, we need to set this as a featured image. So if you scroll down all the way right here, on set featured image go ahead and click on this and let's go ahead and click on this one right here welcome to the club click on set featured image now let's go ahead and publish this post all right it's done so now let's go back up to the top left and click on visit website visit our site again all right so let's go ahead and scroll down And now you can see our post is here. We will be in Hollywood 321. Let's go ahead and click on this post. As you can see, it's that background, that featured image background. It's going to show up first. We will be in Hollywood 321, and it gives a date. Click on Read More. And as you can see, our post is here. Our post of uh, whatever we posted on there, it's going to show up right there. So let's say you want to add a YouTube video in there. You know, uh, maybe you want to talk about your band. You know, you want to talk about something like that. So let's go on over to head to YouTube. And let's type in, oh, it's right here. Georgia, Georgia Florida Line. This is their newest hit single. So we don't really care about this uh, right here. But we're going to go ahead and click on Share. And you see this Embed right here? Go ahead and click on Embed. And now we have this code. Go ahead and copy this code. And now let's go back to our website. And we're at this post again. So let's go ahead and click on edit post up here. And let's go ahead and put in the background uh, or the video. So under, let's go ahead and get rid of this picture actually. Let's put the video there instead. huh? So don't post the code right here. You're going to click on text over here. This is where you're going to put anything with a code on it. So go ahead and click on text. And these are actually considered spaces written in text, but don't worry. Just go ahead and click enter two times and copy and paste that code. Now let's click on update. All right. Now let's go ahead and click on preview changes. It's going to pull up a new page of just the page we have. So now this looks pretty good. We're going to scroll down. And there it is, our YouTube video. We can go ahead and play it. It works really well. All right. Now let's say you want to make this a little bit bigger. You're not really content with the size of it. You know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really fit this well. It can be a little bigger. Let's go ahead and do that. And to do that, we're going to have to change the code a little bit. But it's very, very simple. So go ahead and go back to this page, close it. And this is our page that we posted the code, okay? And as you can see, it has the width 
and the height. Now, if you want to make it bigger, simply change this number. I want it bigger by maybe 4 15 pixels and maybe uh, let's do 6 660. Let's just change it. Now, click on update. All right, and once again, click on Preview Changes. It's going to open up a new page, and now we'll be brought to this page again. Go ahead and scroll down, and now you can see the video is actually much bigger than before. So you can adjust it to pretty much any size you want it to. However, if you make it too big, uh, the sidebar will cut it off, and we're actually going to take this off later. So that's how you change the size of the video. So go ahead and close this, and Go ahead and just uh, click on update. All right, so now let's go back to our website. Click on visit site up here. Okay, great, so we're scrolling down. And we made our post right here. It looks good. We can actually add in another post. I'm gonna go ahead and add in maybe two, two or three more posts just to make it look good. So our future tours. And I'm just going to go ahead and just copy and paste this right here. Go ahead and click on Publish. I'm going to make one more. Speed it up. Click on this post. Welcome to our website. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just copy and paste this for dummy text. And click on Publish. And I'm going to make one more. Post. And uh, we are amazing. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. Okay, great. Oops, so sorry about that. So once we're done with that, let's go back and visit our website. And scroll down. And as you can see, they're right here. They all show up right here. It looks good. It does take a little time for them to come up, as you guys can tell. When you scroll down, it does take a, like a millisecond for it to appear. But it doesn't matter. It looks good. It looks clean. So next we have our home page. And this is where I was actually thrown off. Because I was looking everywhere for this. And I was thinking, where is this? So this is the considered the home page. The, basically, in the beginning of the video, we put our front page. This is where it's going to be. So go ahead and click on... The uh, blah 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 the dashboard, and now we're gonna click on pages. Now you can see right here home. So basically anything we type in there, it's gonna show up on that section. So we might want to change the title. We don't want to say it's home, right? Let's say check us out on iTunes, and we can go ahead and put that video. Put it right here. Oops. Now remember, the visual section is the section where you're not going to post the code. You're going to post the code in the text section. However, I want to sort of give this a title right here. So we are the number one hit on iTunes. Take a look. And now we're going to scroll over to our text. And I'm going to press enter right here, and I'm going to embed the video. I'm going to make it a little bigger, like before. 415, and let's do 660. And I'm going to click on update. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and go back to our website. By scrolling over here, we're going to click on visit website. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and scroll down. That's our uh, post right there. It looks good. Check us out on iTunes. Now, this looks really clean right here. We are the number one hit on iTunes. Take a look. And if you have a iTunes code, you can go ahead and put that in there. I don't have one, but if you do, if you're an artist or if you sell music, this would be a great spot to put it where they can watch your video and then just buy, the, buy it right then and there. So next, we're going to go ahead and do our next section, which is our widget section. And it's going to actually appear right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Over here, you're going to click on widgets. So the best country band ever, click on widgets. Now these are something to add where you want to add something in like um, a Facebook like box, a Twitter, uh, whatever you would like, anything you like to do. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get rid of that sidebar information. Remember earlier how I talked about that post and we had all that sidebar stuff? 
Let's go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. So you're going to click this little arrow, click on delete. Recent posts, click on delete. Recent comments, click on delete. Archives, click on delete. We're working, we're working, <laughs> we're doing it, we're doing it. <laughs> okay, great. So now let's go ahead and see what that did really quick before we begin. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this really quick, scroll down, and I'm going to show you guys, uh, uh, yeah, howdy y'all. So as you can see, the sidebar stuff is gone. We don't have all that stuff over there anymore. So that looks much better. Okay. All right, great. Now let's go back. And now we're going to add the widgets to our front page. Okay. So right here, it says front page. This is where we want to put our widgets at, not our sidebar, our front page. So first, let's go ahead and add something in there. What do we want to add in there? Well, let's go ahead and add in this calendar right here. Maybe we want a calendar. So click on the calendar and go ahead and scroll to front page and click on add widget. Now you can see right here a title. Check your calendar. And go ahead and click on save. Okay, great. So now we've added uh, a calendar widget. Now let's go back and see what we've done. Click on visit site. Okay, it's taking a little time to load, that's okay. Now let's go ahead and scroll down. Keep scrolling. And now you can see we have a new section right here. This is our widget section. And this is our last section, which is our projects. So you see this background right here? I don't really like it. I want the country theme that we got going on. You know, I don't really like this. It's not, it's not, uh, it doesn't value our website anymore. We want something that looks good. So to change this, go up here and click on customize and go scroll down to theme options. Now right here, we're going to see our widget section. You can go ahead and click on widgets and let's go ahead and I'll show you as we're doing this. So this is our widget section right here. We want to put a background on there, something that correlates to our website. So we're going to select image, and I'm going to go ahead and put uh, these guys right here. Or, uh, I'm so indecisive. Okay, there we go. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and click on Save and Publish. And we also need to put one for our home page right here. And don't forget, uh, we can actually add the footer or the background shade, go ahead and click on this. And now it has that dark shade where the text will really come out and we'll really be able to see it. So go ahead and click on save and publish. And this is our home section right here. So we want to change this background too. So let's go ahead and click on back and click on page. Now this is basically where our, our, um, our home page is considered. Now check us out on iTunes. We want to go ahead and put this on our footer link. We want to make it match. I told you this thing was a little tricky. <laughs> so that's just part of the reason why. Because it's considered a home page, yet it's not on the front, but it's kind of whatever. Okay, so let's add in a background to this now. So go ahead right here, click on select image, and click on one. And then click on choose image. Looks good. In fact, I don't think I'll really want to add in the background text right here. We could. Let's go ahead and click on it and see what it looks like. Uh, it looks good both ways. Well, I'll just keep them all dark because I'm adding them all dark anyways. So it looks kind of, uh, looks kind of good and it correlates to our website. So once you're done, click on Save and Publish. And now we're going to go back to our widget section. Now that we've changed this background right here for our widgets, we're going to go ahead and add more. Let's go ahead and add in a Facebook like box next. So how do we do that? Well, go up here and click on the X. And we're going to install a plugin. So up here, click on Dashboard. Scroll down to Plugins. Click on Add New. Now we're going to go ahead and install the Facebook like box plugin. So under here, under search plugins, type in Facebook like box and go ahead and search, press enter. 
And now we can go ahead and search for a Facebook like box. As you guys can tell, there's many people out there that design this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the one with the most downloads. I'm going to go ahead and do the Facebook like box widget right here. Click on install now. And go ahead and activate this plugin. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and go back to our widgets. So to do that, go to appearance and go to widgets. Now we can see this Facebook like box widget is here. So we want to add this in our first page. So go ahead and click on this and go ahead and click on front page. Click on add widget. So now you can see the Facebook like box widget is here. So title, what do you want to name this title? I'm going to do like us on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. Uh, go ahead and just leave that there. Now for the plugin page URL, they need a URL. They need something where you can go ahead and show whatever page you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I have a page that I'm going to use. This is my Facebook. My memories. I had a, a Basset Hound. Oh, a, a great dog. Okay, anyways, so I have a page right here under Daryl Wilson. Maybe you guys can like it. I didn't really add much to it yet. I kind of just made it for just tutorial reasons. Okay, so right here is our URL right here. We're going to go ahead and copy this page right here. Now, it has to be a, uh, a page because if you try to do your profile and it's private, nothing's going to show up. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's go back to our website and where it says plugin page URL. I'm going to go ahead and backspace and put in mine. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Down, we're going down. These are a lot of options. If you want to get really complicated and do this, um, there's a lot of tutorials on just widgets, but we don't need to worry about this for now. I don't want to get crazy. I don't want to do that right now. It's too much for me. So once you're done, go ahead and click on save. All right, great. Go ahead and close it. And now let's take a look at our widget section. So let's go over here, go to visit site. Let's go ahead and scroll down now. We're going to go to our widget section. And now you can see the pictures right there. Like us on Facebook and you can see a like page. You can go ahead and click on it. I liked it. But let's say you want to make it bigger. You see how it's sort of cutting off and it doesn't really look good. It just kind of looks like a small block. It doesn't really doesn't look good, right? Let's make that bigger. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you how. Let's go back to our widget section. So right here, we're going to go to widgets. And now let's go ahead and scroll over here to front page and click on it. And now our two widgets are right here. Let's go ahead and click on this little arrow. And now we can see right here, we have our width and our height. Now I want the height to be bigger. So let's go ahead and change it to 450. Let's see if that's big. Now if you make it too long, it'll just disappear. And that's basically telling you you're making it too big. So let's go ahead and do that. So 450, and now let's go ahead and click on Save. Now let's go ahead and see what we've done. Let's go ahead and click on this, Visit Site. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down. And now you can see we've made it bigger, and it looks good right here. It looks very good. So I put it at a 450 height. I could make it smaller to align this right here, but I'm not going to do that. You know how to do it. You're already learning. You probably know more than I do. So let's go ahead and add in a new widget. Let's go ahead and add in, let's say, a Google Maps. You want to add in Google Maps. And I actually know a much better way because a lot of people, they actually don't know about this, and I'm going to teach you guys. So go ahead and up here and click on Widgets. And we're going to add in an arbitrary text because there is a Google Maps plugin, but you got to pay 20 bucks for it and it's really not good. So go ahead and click on front page, just like we did before. Click on add widget. Now they're going to say, come visit us. And now right here, it says content. We're going to embed a code right here. So let's go to googlemaps.com. Google Maps. I spelled that wrong. Apologies. It's thank God. Okay. So anyways, go ahead and click on Google Maps. 
And now we can see uh, I live in Los Angeles. So we can go ahead and wherever you want to um, put, you're more than welcome to. If you want to do Dodger Stadium, wherever you live, however, we're just going to go ahead and up here, we're just going to type in Hollywood. Hollywood Walk of Fame. Why not? Okay. So once you're done with this, you choose your location. You're going to go over here and click on Share. Now you see right here it says Embed Map. Go ahead and click on that. Now we can see we have this code right here. We can go ahead and copy this code and we're going to paste that into our widget section. So let's go back to our widget section. And right here it says Content. You're going to go ahead and paste it in there. Go ahead and click on Save. All right, now let's go ahead and look at our map and see if it's changed. Now also, guys, remember, if you want to adjust the height and width, read the code right here. Do you see where it says width 600 and height 450? You can go in there and change the numbers to adjust it to whatever you like. So let's say you want it a little taller, you can make it 500 pixels. If you want to make it bigger, you can do 700 pixels. It's really up to you and how your website is designed. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on save. And now let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go, let's go take a look. Let's go see what we did. Let's go check it. Let's go see how it's, uh, how it's looking right now. Go ahead and scroll down. Now you can see it looks good. We have our come visit us, like us on Facebook, Facebook <laughs> and our calendar. And if we want to add in another widget, we can add in another widget. Um, let's say we want to add in, I don't know, let's just go take a look. Let's just go see what our widgets are. So up here, go ahead and click on widgets. And there's thousands of widgets, guys. There's YouTube widgets, there's Twitter, Twitter, uh, whatever you'd like to add. They have them out there. So let's go ahead and add in, maybe we can add in a YouTube video over there. I don't know. But for this purpose, we're going to go ahead and put a subscribe box. Now to do that, we need to activate our uh, plugin that we installed. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and click on dashboard right here. We need to install our Jetpack. As you can see right here, it even wants us to install Jetpack. Jetpack is a plugin that this theme likes to use. So where it says, please connect Jetpack, go ahead and click on connect Jetpack. All right, and go ahead and um, if you have a password, if you have a account, go ahead and enter it in. If you do not, you're going to have to log in and make one. However, if you don't want the theme, if you don't want the, uh, I'm sorry, if you don't want the plugin, just don't do it. You know, whatever you want to do, you can add in a video or something like that. Go ahead and do that. All right. Okay, great. So now it says Jetpack is now active. Now there are some good features about Jetpack. It's basically a plugin that has a lot of different things in it, but I don't really use it too much. I like to use other things, but if you want, um, it's really up to you. So let's go ahead and click on plugins. As we can see, the Jetpack is installed. Okay, so now let's go back to our widgets, appearance and widgets. And now we have information right here, like contact info, display WordPress posts, a Facebook plugin. They have a, they have a bunch of little goodies that you can add. Um, your social icons, uh, your Twitter. Uh, they have a lot of different features. So it's something that if you want your website to have or not, it's strictly up to you. I'm going to go ahead and do a um, subscription. So go ahead and click on this right here and click on front page. Now we want to add this widget. So right here, subscribe to blog via email. I don't want it to be that title. However, I'm going to say subscribe to us. And this information looks good. This is basically saying when they um, subscribe, this is what they're going to get, their notice. And it looks good. And it's going to go to the email that we signed up for. So go ahead and click on save. Now let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at what we've done. Now remember, it's up to you guys to sort of add whatever you want in. Uh, I can't really, you know, uh, let you guys know what you guys need or want. So it's really strictly up to you. So let's go ahead and click on, uh, or just scroll down. And now we can see we have a subscribe to us box right here. We can enter an email address. I'm going to enter uh, mine right here. 
click on subscribe. All right, great. Success. An email sent was confirmed. So it looks like we subscribed to it successfully. We did it. Congratulations. Now we have our last section right here. And this is our um, projects. So basically, if you have a portfolio, let's say you went to a concert and you performed at a concert and you took pictures and you want to show them, this is where you're going to do it. So to do that, go ahead and go up here. Click on dashboards. And right here where it says portfolio, this is what we're going to put in. So right here, click on add new. And right here, we're going to put, we rock the house. And basically, you can put any title you want. We did amazing. And let's go ahead and put in a picture. So to do that, we're going to click on Add Media. And let's just go ahead and put in this one right here. Insert in a post. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's go ahead and click on Insert into Post. Okay, great. Now we need to set a featured image. It's actually required of this scene that we do it for our portfolio. So to do that, click on Set Featured Image right here. Uh, click on this one. Now this is going to show up on the website. It's going to show up on the front page. So let's go ahead and set featured image and publish this. Now guys, website, or I'm sorry, WordPress is not perfect. It makes a lot of mistakes. So if you find something on your website that you did that's not working, just go back and fill it out. Um, I know I have a lot of issues with WordPress sometimes. Sometimes the theme doesn't work properly. I used to use a theme called One Tone and it was a pain in the booty and I don't use it no more. So anyways, let's just go back to preview changes. Now this is our post. So basically we rocked the house and now we see our picture right here and you can go ahead and add in whatever text and you can add in a YouTube video, whatever you would like. You can scroll down and you can leave a comment in there saying, hey, you know, awesome, awesome time. You guys did a great job. You rocked the house. So let's go ahead and close this. And let's go ahead and click on update again just to make sure. And all this stuff right here, the short codes, forms, this is Jetpack. I don't like all this stuff. I don't want add a contact form onto my posts. I don't want forms onto my posts. As you guys can tell, insert a form. I don't want any of this stuff. That's basically why I don't use Jetpack because they add in a lot of features that I just don't need. I just, I don't need it. <laughs> I really don't. All right. So let's go ahead and click on visit site. Now you can see our website's really starting to come along, but you know, we, we kind of want to add in a logo, right? We don't have a logo right here. If you guys have a logo for your band, let's go ahead and add one in. So to do that, let's go ahead and click on customize. And let's go to site title, tagline, and logo. And if you can see right here, we haven't really set our logo right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So click on add a logo. I'm going to enter my logo right here. And I kind of want to make this bigger. You know, we're number one on the charts. Come check out our band. Uh, the Amazing Skulls. And let's go ahead and click on Save and Publish. Now let's see what that's done. So now you can see we have our logo right here. It looks very good. And we are number one rated one. Come check out our band. Uh, this text is a little long, but uh, that's okay. We can just leave it in there for now. It doesn't really matter. I'm just showing this to show you. So now we have our logo in there, and we have our text. It looks good. So let's go ahead and scroll down. And let's just take a look at our website so far. This looks good. I like this. Check us out on iTunes. This looks very good, too. We have our widget section. It looks good. <clears throat> and as you can see, our portfolio right here is coming up and that was the image we put go ahead and click on this and there's the image again so that is our portfolio now let's go ahead and change that background that we had so we had that background uh, don't like it it doesn't really fit our criteria right here so to do that go ahead and click on customize up here go ahead and scroll down to theme options 
and go ahead and click on let's go ahead and click on portfolio oh one more thing this is going to change the um the size of these pictures so for example you see this picture right here right if i click up here and i change it to this font it's now bigger as we can tell it looks different and we can actually change it to a square so i personally like the three four right there okay great so once you're done editing that we're gonna go ahead and click on back and go to portfolio front and now we can see we have a background that we haven't selected so go ahead and click on select image and let's go ahead and put on this one right here. There you go. So now we have a image in the background and let's go ahead and add the background shade so it matches everything else. And now for our footer text link, basically we want it to be um, our, you can put our portfolio, you can put uh, whatever you would like it to be, our smash hits, uh, whatever suits your, your niche. So once you're done, in the beginning of the video, I told you guys about, I wish there was a title right here. So how do you do this? How can I add in a title like this? Well, the only way to really do it is by adding it in with paint or something like that. And if you're a complete amateur and you don't know how to do it, I'll go ahead and show you really quick. So let's go ahead and go over here to paint. And I did one right here, but we're going to go ahead and do it another one. So we did this image right here. Now you see this image right here. Let's go ahead and zoom out. And let's go ahead and see where the head is. So right here, the head, the eyes is where the text is coming in. So we kind of want it from here to here, from here to here. So go ahead and click on this image or this um, text font and click on right there. And go ahead and type in our, our smash hits. Or us in, uh, I don't know, us in action. Us in action, right? And let's change the color to white. Oops. Let's go and change it to white. And now you can see that we have uh, some text on there. Go ahead and press enter. And if you're good with Photoshop, I recommend Photoshop. However, if you're not good with Photoshop, this will do. Anything, uh, this is quick, easy. Uh, it's very simple. So once you're done with that, Go to click off and you want to save this. Let's go and click save as and I'm going to go ahead and save it in here again. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite it. So now that we have this image, let's go ahead and upload it and see if that makes any difference. So let's go ahead and remove this image and we're going to select our image again. And to do that, we're going to upload it, select files, and right here. There we go. So go ahead and choose that image. So now you can see it says us in action right there. However, I kind of need it to change a little bit. You know, I should have brought it down a little bit more. However, you get the idea. And if you don't want the background shade, you can sort of take it out. And it'll show up more when you scroll all the way down. I probably next time we're going to put it maybe right here. So as you're scrolling down, you can see it. However, this still looks good. So that's basically a way around the theme. Now remember guys, I told you when you're doing these themes, sometimes there's just small little issues, but there's always a way around it. There's always a way to fix things and make it look better. So once we're done, go ahead and click on save and publish. And now let's just go ahead and take a brief overview of our website so far. So as you guys can see now, it looks very good. The theme looks like it's coming along together very well. We've added in our posts. This is considered our homepage. <laughs> I know, right? Like they should have put that somewhere else, but uh, hey, it works. It works. And this is our widget section. Oh, I got two likes. I got a like during this video. Maybe somebody liked me during this video. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. And now let's go ahead and scroll down and you see our portfolio. And you can just go ahead and add in a lot more. Um, add in maybe three or four and suit to your needs now there is one last thing that we need to do and that is to actually add in a new page so this theme it's considered a one page theme yet it also offers diversity with other pages so we only have our home page 
yet on here is sort of you know our portfolio iTunes check our latest news it sort of adds all that in so it's a little confusing but let's just go ahead and add in a page so up here under right here we're gonna click on dashboard and now we're gonna scroll down to pages so go ahead and click on pages and let's go ahead and add a new page let's, let's go ahead and see what this does okay so now I want to type in um, what do we want to type in let's just say like a about us kind of thing you know maybe you want to talk about you saying hey like learn about the artists so learn learn about the artists and then right here you can go ahead and put um, we are great guys and let's go ahead and add in a media picture and let's go ahead and put um, this one right here now also if you want to change it the size right here you can change the size so it says size I'm gonna go ahead and do the full size insert into page however there's also another way to do it if you click on the image right here and this is for any WordPress theme guys they all work the same way so if you want to change the image you're gonna click on the page see this little pencil right here edit go and click on that and alternative text this is for SEO purposes um, I'm not gonna go over SEO in this video <laughs> it's too much and also you can go ahead and change the size right here and also if you want it to link to something you can do that too that means when you click on this picture it's gonna take you to a certain website or maybe to somewhere else so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna put link to put a custom URL darylwilson.com which is my website go ahead and click on update and we want to set our featured image because the featured image is going to show up in the background it's going to look beautiful so go ahead and click on set featured image and let's go ahead and put uh, this one right here welcome to the club now let's go ahead and publish this because it looks like we've added everything uh, if you want to add a YouTube video remember click on the text right here I'll just do it right now let's go ahead and copy this right here and just go ahead and paste that we'll paste it under this right here but it has to be in the text section remember not in the visual so go ahead and click on publish once we're done all right it looks like it's done let's go ahead and go up here and click on visit site all right so now on the top right up here now it says learn about the artists so go ahead and click on this right here and now you can see this beautiful background learn about the artists and we can go ahead and click on read more and now you see that picture that we put in there we are great guys we see the image you can change the size of that and also we see our YouTube video in there we put so if you want to add something in there you know now how to change the size of the pictures and the videos so now you're professionals I don't need to show you any, that anymore because you got it you're good okay so let's go ahead and go back up and it looks good now with this theme uh, if you install the jetpack one last thing it says up here your site is currently displaying a coming soon page so basically if you go to the websites dota 2 is fun Dot com it's gonna show up as uh, coming soon so let's go ahead and take that out really quick so once you're ready to launch this site go ahead and click here okay great now it's live so now if they come to our website they can view it so let's go ahead and click on visit the site now let's go ahead and scroll down and see if there's anything we're missing on this site so as you can see we have our sections right here check us out on iTunes our portfolio our latest news if you click on them it's gonna take you right there uh, learn about the artists. Let's go to click on the page again. Make sure everything's working. And as you can see, it looks amazing. Read more. This was the same page we had. Go ahead and click on home. And it's going to take you back to the page. So remember, however you want to do this, you can add in several other pages. Maybe learn about the artists. Uh, our, our recent awards we've won. Maybe you've won some contests. You can go ahead and put that into your page and add that in. So let's go ahead and scroll down here. And some tips and pointers. I would add in a background right here like our news because um, it just looks better you know and I showed you how to do that now right here check us out on iTunes this is your home page 
and it looks great. It's simple. It's easy. It gets straight to the point. And like I said, a uh, buy it now on iTunes would be great right there. And let's go ahead and keep scrolling down. Now remember, if you have a Twitter box or something else that you, you use, you can go ahead and put that in as well. So maybe a Twitter, uh, whatever you like to add, there's a something for in the plugin section. So just go to plugins and add in whatever you'd like. There's thousands of plugins, uh, maybe one for, uh, what's another social media website these days? <laughs> I don't know, uh, a, a, a Tumblr, Tumblr, right? Maybe Tumblr, you can add in a Tumblr or something like that, whatever you would like. And we saw that now we can subscribe to our mailing list right here. Let's go ahead and keep scrolling down and we can add in more pages right here, our portfolio section. And I showed you how to do that, but just for purposes sake, let's go ahead and do one more time just to make sure you know exactly what you're doing before I let you go. So right here under new, you can go to straight to project now because they're considered projects and go ahead and type in, um, the biggest smash hit. And let's just go ahead and under visual right here, let's just go ahead and type in, or I'm just going to put dummy text right here. Just go ahead and copy and paste this. And I'm just going to go ahead and add in a picture. So click on add media. And let's just go ahead and put in this one right here. Go ahead and click that to enter into post. And now remember to get this to work, you have to add a featured image or else it won't work. So I'm going to go ahead and give you an example of what it looks like when it does not work. So go ahead and click on publish. And it's loading and now click on preview changes. Now I'm just doing this just to show you guys because I know sometimes you run into errors and it's not fun. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to go to our visit our website, not our, um, not the post. We need to visit our website. I need to show you what it looks like. All right. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page. And as you can see right here, we have this blank line now. And this is what happens when you don't set it to a featured image. You get this big blank line. So this is going to save you a lot of time instead of going to WordPress forums and saying, hey, this doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Oh, my God, I hate this. Uh, I had a lot of um, doubt with this theme. However, in the end, I found out that it's actually not a bad theme and it's pretty easy to use, actually. So to go back here, we want to go to Dashboard. And it's considered a portfolio, remember? So go back and click on Portfolio. And the biggest smash hit, go ahead and click on this. And now remember, we need to set a featured image. So click on set featured image. And let's just put in uh, these bad boys right here. Let's put the same one in. And now that we added it, let's go ahead and click on update. So now let's go ahead and view the website. All right, let's go ahead and scroll down. All right, so now it looks good, as you can tell. This looks very clean. It looks great. If you want to add in your own pictures, uh, this would be the best place to do it. And now we can see our post looks good. We can add in a comment right here and also more projects. So the other post that we did, it's going to show up right next to it. As you can see, it looks good. Everything looks um, very well. It looks clean. And um, if you want to visit this website or other ones, you can go to my website, uh, darylwilson.com, and how to make your website for free. As you can tell, I like this background right here. Um, and I will show you how to make this website and many of the websites for free. Uh, that's me. That's my dog. Uh, she's my public relations manager. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay. And also, uh, if you want to make a business website, I have that right here. I actually did a parody. I made it a Skynet theme. So basically the Terminator, they're coming to destroy the earth. And um, I haven't added in this video yet or to make this website yet because I'm going to do a video about it. So if you click on it, there's nothing there. However, uh, you want to make a personal website. I have that too. You know, if you want to make a resume website, it's very good. And um, I think people today need one. And it covers a lot, you know, it covers what you need, everything like that. And I do this all for free. I don't really do it for, you know, for any money or anything like that. Uh, just for fun. So let's go ahead and visit the website. And now we can see it looks great. So 
Thanks for watching my video. If you guys have any questions or any concerns about this theme or you have any problems with that, with coding or something like that, just go ahead and feel free to contact me anytime you want. If you want, you can go ahead to my website and click on my contact me button, DarrellWilson.com. And this is my contact me page. Looks amazing, right? I'm actually going to make a video on how to do background videos after my e-commerce website. So I'm going to show you how to do an e-commerce website for free and also how to do this site. It might cost something. I'm not sure. I'm going to look for a theme and let you know. But right now, I'm really sick into the DV theme. So anyways, um, thanks for watching my video. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, if you hate it, tell me you hated it, whatever you like. Thanks for watching. My name is Joe Wilson, and I am signing out.